Hi there. My name is Helena and I'm from Pom Pom Design. And this is the first in a new series of videos um, looking at some of the techniques we use for our kits. Um, this first video is going to be looking at the most basic, which is the stitches that we use um, on the canvas itself. And the stitch that I'm going to demonstrate today is called a basket weave stitch. We call it a basket weave stitch because it creates this it's created using a series of diagonals, stitching the stitch diagonally, but also the direction of the stitches go diagonally. And it creates a really robust, luxurious finish. Um, and it creates a whole new textile, so there's no canvas left showing at the end of it. You've got a whole new textile. So here's, I'm gonna show you. Here's the front of, um, this is a Canyon 3 colorway for our Canyon kit. Um, ready to be made up into a cushion. So you can see the front, really neat and tidy. And if we turn it over onto the back, if we look in here, we can see that the, the pattern's starting to be made on, starting to be made on the back and there's no um, canvas showing. And it creates what's supposed to look like a basket weave pattern. You may say you don't think so, but that's what it's intended to look like. Um, and just ignore the little bits on the back, that's just me. You can snip them off quite closely, or you can leave them if they don't get in your way. Okay, just move that out of the way. So to start our stitch, we want a piece of yarn. Here we go. Probably something 40, 50 centimetres long. We take our needle. Um, this is a John James needle. It's... um really nice smooth steel needle. Um, our kits come with two, um, just in case you might lose one along the way. And they're just really, really nice to work with. And it's a size 18. Okay, so to begin, we just put, a, put the, take the needle from at the outside down and pull the yarn through. And we leave a little tail. And this is the way that we actually hold the yarn onto the canvas and we trap it. So rather than using a knot, we actually use, use the yarn um, to, and the stitches to trap a little tail. And this makes it really firm and robust. So the stitch, as I mentioned, is a diagonal stitch. We're going across like that. I hope you can see it. And Instead of going along in a line, which you might imagine, and then you get to the end and you snip it, and then you go back to the beginning again, and you go along and you snip it. This is actually worked in a diagonal, and that's how it creates that pattern on the back. So we just come up again. Now I've got my hand, I should show you that, this hand is underneath. And so as the needle goes down, it's pulling it through and it's putting it back up, ready for the neck, for me to stitch it. So it takes a little bit of time just to work out where to put your fingers, but after a few minutes, basically, you understand where to put your hand underneath to catch the needle and to push it back up. Okay, so probably after about four or five stitches, that's probably enough, really. And I'm just, I've just been catching the thread underneath, so it's held in place as I'm doing the stitches. So once that's held in place, you can just keep going. Then when you've reached the edge of your shape, you've sort of got to the end and you're ready to um, come back up again. You don't want to carry on any further in that direction. So we start to continue to work back in the other direction, going back up. So that's a really good thing, um, I think anyway, that you don't have to um, snip it when you get to the end of the row and start all over again with loops and catching and all the rest of it. You can just keep going up and down. And I really like this stitch, it's really relaxing. Um, and calming and you can listen to the radio, listen to music, you could make a video or um, watch the TV. Um, that's fine. I wouldn't try it with um, subtitles, but apart from that, TV's okay, glance up and down um, and really relaxing and calm. Um, this is, you can probably guess, is stitched on a frame. With this stitch, you don't have to stitch it on a frame. You always get a little bit of distortion if you don't, but rather than, unlike the um, normal half cross stitch or tenth stitch, where all the stitches are stitched in the same direction the whole way along, it creates a kind of distortion where the canvas leans. And at the end, you kind of have to pin it and block it and dampen it to stretch it back again. So stitching it on a frame saves you from having to do that, which is really good. 
and it makes it a really neat and tidy. But if you're traveling or you're going on holiday or it's just not convenient to do it like that, you don't have to stitch it on a frame. Okay, and this stitch helps with that. It makes less distortion. So let's imagine now that we've reached the end of, of our block of stitching and we've run out of yarn. And we need to now trap the end of this yarn so that it doesn't um, come loose afterwards. Now, instead of um, trying to make another knot, we don't do. What we do, but this is on the reverse of the canvas, not the front, is we just run the needle under the stitches like so, and we would pull it through. Obviously not on the front, we do it on the back. In fact, let me just get this canvas and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's just open this up. So if we imagine now, I'm just gonna take this, that we've 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 run the, the thread through the back. Can you see that? And now we want to catch it so that it doesn't um, come undone. We just take it along a few stitches like so, and we pull it through. And then, and just snip. And the reason why I've got long tails is I snip it from the back without looking at it underneath. Um, like that. And snip. And that's it. And then it's held in place really well. I can pull it out, you can see, which I'm going to do, but that gives you the gist. Okay, so that's the first video from Pom Pom Designs Tutorials, and that was how to do a basket weave stitch and also how to start and finish off from a line of yarn. Thank you.